I've been involved with response to intervention since it was the early days when it was adopted as one of the practices that could be used to identify students for special education services and more broadly could be used to help do school improvement for all students at all schools if done correctly. It was one of the first grantees with the National Center on Response to Intervention back in 2006 from the Office of Special Ed Programs to help develop some of the practices that should be used to implement RTI successfully. And it was interestingly enough through that grant that we realized that the existing progress monitoring and screening measures that were out there were insufficient to really be up to the job of school-wide improvement efforts being led by an RTI approach. And that's where we developed Easy CBM to kind of answer some of those needs, trying to streamline the Easy CBM system to provide screening with useful information that teachers could use to drive their instructional decision making, the ability to group and regroup students in very flexible formats to make sure that educators could tailor what they were doing to individual students' strengths, to individual students' area of needs, and that school districts and individual teachers as well, and practitioners, school psychs, et cetera, would have the information they needed to be able to make better decisions. What do I mean by better decisions? Decisions about what's gonna work for this particular kid in this particular context at this particular point in their life. RTI, I believe, is one of the most promising practices to realize the potential of public education which is to make sure that all students are really able to live up to the dreams and hopes their parents may have for them. MTSS, or Multi-Tiered Systems of Support, has gained popularity in recent years as well. And that has to do with the all-encompassing idea that it's not just about academics, but it's also about behavioral support, social, emotional learning, various other needs that might be involved um, in supporting students. So where RTI traditionally has been focused almost exclusively on academic needs, on learning needs, multi-tiered systems of support also encompasses the more broad aspect of social emotional learning, et cetera. That doesn't mean that districts that are doing RTI don't also take those things into account. And in some areas of the country, the terms are used almost interchangeably. So I'd hate to have people get too wrapped up in, is this MTSS or is this RTI? Basically, are you using your assessment, your data, your information at hand to make wise decisions about what's gonna be appropriate for helping to support students? Are you looking at those decisions over time? Are you reconsidering those decisions? Are you making changes when changes are warranted? Are you documenting the impact? Are you learning as a staff, as a school, as a district about what works really well, for whom and what quantities? If you're doing those things, then you're doing RTI and you're realizing the promise of RTI. Response to intervention is, is for students. It can also be an incredibly powerful tool for staff to gain expertise as teachers, as school psychs, as people who are helping out in the classroom, even to help empower parents. And as students get older and begin to understand their own graphs, their progress graphs, it can help motivate individual students to think about what are they learning? Are they learning? What might they do to increase their learning and to really take ownership of their future? So it's kind of a, a big answer to your question there. Sorry about that. I sometimes get kind of passionate about the topic because honestly, I see response to intervention as just an amazing tool for empowering teachers, empowering school psychologists, empowering teams of educators to help students really succeed. And like I said earlier, you're so lucky to have Rutherford County here today because they really are, they're living the dream. They're making it reality. So I'm gonna be, be quiet now. You don't need to hear from me so much as you do really learn from your colleagues here who are just doing a great job.